OneNote is a great digital note-taking app. One of the many upsides of using OneNote is that it has an infinite canvas and you can add your notes, pictures, and screen clippings anywhere without worrying about ever running out of space. But if you wanted to print your notes, this infinite canvas becomes a downside. Microsoft itself doesn't provide a lot of help when it comes to printing. Anyone who's ever tried printing a note page from OneNote are probably familiar with printed pages that look like this. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can print your notes so that they actually fit properly on a page. The first method I'll show you is for when you want to print just a single page of notes. And the second method is for when you need to print multiple pages. Method 1. Print a single page. The first thing we need to do is determine what paper size we plan to print on. Here in the States, a standard is a letter size, which is 8.5 by 11 inches. Elsewhere, you may be using A4. Whatever the size, you can choose it from this drop-down. If you don't see your choice listed, you can select Custom and manually enter the size there. I'm going to select Letter. Here we can customize the page orientation as well as the print margins. I'm just going to change the margins to 0.5 inches all around. I have a choice to save the current page as a template if I think I'm going to use it often. Let's click on it. We can name the template of course, and even set it as a default for new pages in the current section. Now, whenever we create a new page in this section, we'll see the guide for the printable area. If we don't set it as a default, we can find the custom template by going to Insert, Page Templates, Page Templates again, and in the Templates pane under My Templates. Okay, now that we can see what a letter size paper area would be in this infinite canvas, we can move our content around and resize them to make them fit nicely within the page. When we're satisfied with how things look, we can go to File, Print, then Print Preview. We see right away that the preview doesn't match what we laid out in the printable area. But this is fixed by disabling Scale Content to Paper Width. Now the view matches up. I want to call your attention to the print range as this can seem a bit confusing. We have a few options here. Current page, page group, and current section. Let's start with the default choice of current page. This does not mean that it'll print a single page as we see here. It'll actually print all notes and contents that are part of this note page, regardless of whether the contents fall outside the paper size that we defined. As we can see below the preview window, this note page will translate into two printed pages. If you want to print just a single page that shows in the preview window, we'll need to specify this in the print dialog box. Returning to the page preview now, page group will print the selected note page and any pages that are nested under. So in this example, it'll print these two note pages. And current section means it'll print all notes that are part of this section. So be mindful of selecting the correct print ranges, otherwise you can waste a lot of paper. Method 2. Print multiple pages. When we defined the page size in the previous method, we saw that it only provides a guide for a single page. So this isn't helpful if you have a lot of notes and can't fit them into a single page. In this case, I found it best to export the notes to a Word document. Let's try that here. Go to File, Export, then choose Word document. Hit Export, name the file, then Save. 
When we open the file, we immediately see that some of the contents are spilling out of the printable area. All we need to do is drag one of these corner handles and resize the content until they fit on the page how we want. Let's do this for the rest of the contents. When we get to the simple text notes, we see that it reorganizes itself to conform to the page layout automatically. What I mean by this is that when we look at the actual notes in OneNote, the first line breaks at the word code, but in Word, it breaks on the word can. This is to ensure the notes fit nicely on the Word page layout. So this is how we can print our OneNote note pages. If you want to learn how to insert printouts into OneNote, check out this video here. And of course, like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Thanks, and bye for now.